In my previous video, I have shown you how to fix the permission error and one of my viewers is getting this error. So, in this video, I will show you how to fix this error. Let's get started. The first step is to give permission to the whole drive. For this example, I will use my local disk E drive but you could use any of your other drives by following the same method. So first, right click on that drive, then click on properties, then click on the security tab. Here simply click on edit and then click on add and under enter the object names to select type everyone. Then click on check names. If you see an underline and you see that E changed to capital, that means you have typed it correctly. And now you can just click on OK. Now select everyone and under permissions for everyone, click full control allow. Now we are giving full control to everything to everyone. And now simply click on apply and now click on OK. And in here, if you select everyone, you should see this full control and then simply click on OK and we are done here. And another thing we need to do is to repeat the same process but in a different way. So again, right click on the local disk and click on properties again. Go to the security tab again and this time we need to go to the advanced. So select advanced in here. In here, Make sure you're under permissions and then click on change in here. And we need to repeat the same process. Hence, simply type everyone. Check for names. It seems OK. Click on OK. And as you can see here, we have added everyone name under permissions under advanced security settings for local disk E. Now, very important thing to do is to click on replace owner on sub containers and objects. Check that and then click on apply. Then you might get a message such as do you want to grant full permission for for example a folder in your E drive then click on yes to give the permission. Changing ownership of different files might take a while so be patient. After a while, you might get this message saying you have just taken ownership of this object. You will need to close and reopen this object's properties before you can view or change permissions. Now simply click on OK. Just make sure everyone is there. And now what we need to do is to go to the auditing tab by clicking on it. Now click on add. Click on select a principal, type again everyone, check names, then click on OK. And once again, make sure to give full control, then click on OK. Now simply click on apply. After a while, we are able to give full access, which applies to the whole drive including all the folders, subfolders and files and the principal would be now everyone and now simply click on OK click on OK and now you need to go to the start click there and click on the power and restart your computer after restarting your computer you should be able to go to your specify drive and open any files without the problem of asking for permissions. Now that we have fixed the permission error, I'm going to show you two methods to decrypt the file or folder. So let's get started. First of all, you can't encrypt a file or folder using Windows 10 Home Edition you will need at least Windows 10 Pro and one of the programs that is there in Windows 10 Pro is called BitLocker which can be used to encrypt files and folders and that supersedes the other program 
which was known as encrypting file system. Irrespective of which of these programs you use to encrypt your file or folder, the methods I'm going to show in this video should help you to decrypt it. Now imagine that this video I've got is encrypted and I would like to decrypt it. What you need to do is to right click on it, then click on properties, then go to the general tab and under the attributes select advanced and here you should see an option called encrypt contents to secure data if it is not encrypted but if your files or folder is encrypted then you just need to uncheck this in order to decrypt it also bear in mind as I've said earlier this procedure can only be done if you have got Windows 10 Pro and not home edition after unchecking this click on ok then click on apply and then click on ok if you have already set up a password for encrypting the file you might have to re-enter the password in order to decrypt it the second method is by using command prompt first right click on the same file Click on properties again and find out its file type. As you can see, it is .mp4. Make a note of that, or you could simply press the Windows button and then type note, then enter to open a notepad file, and then copy the ending and paste it in here. Then go to your full address by clicking on here, copy that as well and then paste it in here and then enter the forward slash and then go to this file press F2 then press Control C to copy this then go back to this notepad and paste the name now delete the brackets so now we got the full address of the file including the file type now press Windows again or you could just click on start and now simply type command after doing that you should get this app called command prompt right click on it to select run as administrator if it comes with a pop-up click on yes then go to the description of this video or simply type cipher space forward slash d and in the front of that we got the full address what we need to do is to put this full address in double quotes after enclosing the full address in the double quotes and entering this code then copy this whole command Control C to copy then come back to the command prompt then press Control V to paste the code in here make sure the code is correct as it's shown in here and then press enter and you should get a message saying decrypting files in folder called 4 and then if any of the files in that folder were encrypted this code should decrypt the files in that folder I hope this video helped you to resolve your issue if you have any questions please put that in the comments below also please don't forget to subscribe to support my channel